We have a crisis in mental health today. Approximately 10 people per day in Canada commit suicide. We essentially have a society with massively untreated anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression is rampant. And I think about how traditional treatments work today. People are given antidepressant medications, for example. They take them daily, for years. And they can help a little bit, but they aren't transformative. In fact, often they're very sedating. And they don't deal with people's underlying issues that create the depression and the anxiety and the post-traumatic stress disorder. Psychedelics offer something completely different. What psychedelics offer are transformative experiences. It's interesting, during the 60s, there was a huge amount of research looking at the benefits of psychedelics in terms of therapies and treatments. And they found one dose of LSD to be profoundly transformative for things like alcoholism. There is a psychedelic renaissance going on today. Psychedelics are back. There is a resurgence of interest in looking at how psychedelic treatments, psychedelic psychiatry, psychedelic medications can transform healing and deal with people's underlying issues in a very brief period of time. I believe that it is time to bring psychedelic treatments back into psychiatry, into psychology, into social work. It is time to bring transformation back into people's lives. And the way to do it is to fund research. Research is the vehicle for bringing legalized psychedelic treatments back into mainstream healing. MAPS Canada, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, is the organization in Canada which is going to legalize psychedelic treatments and make them available for people so they don't have to kill themselves.